Okay, it's a new day and a new project on the bus. <laughs> There's always something we're finishing up. Um, little dings. Today it's just the trim that goes around the refrigerator. Wait, I need to turn the light on. That's better. When we moved out our RV refrigerator, um, it had its own trim that covered all these exposed plywood edges. So now that we are have the new apartment fridge, we just need to put some trim up on that. stained the trim a little bit although <laughs> she didn't even film it she forgets we have a YouTube channel I think, did I film it? Oh, no. no I don't think I did film it the new stain we bought though is like stained with polyurethane included and it didn't make the wood as dark as our other walnut stain of other brands so it's not going to look exactly the same as our other trim but it's close enough and it won't look like edge of plywood which is like a pet peeve of mine actually. Yeah, Mike can't stand it. I can't. It goes against everything I believe in. The only place you um, were okay leaving the plywood edge exposed was on our yeah, dinette. Yeah, I tried to beauty it up. I know, it, you rounded it off so it's all nice and neat so it actually looks good. He's using my craft <laughs> saw with his miter box. This is a baby miter. <laughs> it needed a baby saw. I couldn't find our other saw that actually cuts a little faster than this, but like, Crap saw to the rescue. We only have to make a couple cuts today, so no biggie. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Very nice. I see it came out a little bit long actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to take a little bit off of that. I like that little saw for this though. It's perfect. Quite, quite perfect. <laughs> there we go. That does look a lot nicer, doesn't it? It sure does. It makes a big difference. It makes it look very finished. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's how many nails we have left to do this trim with? Uh, we have about 12 or 13 rounds. <laughs> And we have the air compressor hose coming in through the open window. Come on, you. It's not locking onto this. I wonder if it's the wrong type of connector. Uh-oh. That's not good. Darn, they make different connectors? Alright, it's going to be a... A dual effort. Okay. Okay, I need you to hold this so that these edges are nice and good here. Like this edge is flush? Just up here mainly, yeah. Okay. Okay. What a pain in the ass this is. Yeah, right? But at least you figured out a way to make it work. Yes. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, right. that is a much more finished look than what we had before. Super happy with that final little finishing touch. And it's another honeydew permanently marked off the list. You guys, we majorly messed up. We were Again. filling our water tank. For the second time, we overfilled our water tank. I'm going to see if you can see this down here. The top of our plastic tank should just be level and flat with this right here. You shouldn't be able to see the top of our tank. Look at our bed. That you're seeing back there. Disaster! I don't know if you can see this. It's tilted. Our whole bed is lifted and tilted up. It's hard to tell on camera. But you can see this back corner is lifted up on this side, but it's way down here on this side. See that? That's where it's all lifted up. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is the second time we've done this. We're so bad about turning on the water and then forgetting what we're doing. So we're just running water out of the bathtub right now. 
because the, when we run it out the bathtub it will just flow out onto the ground instead of into our black tank so this is how we're just going to empty our water tank to get it to go back down again embarrassing but that's uh, twice I mean, it's so bad like we have to make some kind of rule that when we're filling water we don't do anything else but, but fill water. stand there yeah at the water until it's done yeah this we hope you guys are learning from our mistakes that's why we're sharing yeah. it with you i wish there was some kind of alarm i could put in right i wish there was some kind of a filler alarm that would beep when it started getting full yeah oh my gosh but at least we caught it before there was a major catastrophe or leak, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm turning on a light so you can maybe see it better. You can see how much the top of that tank is just puffed up right there, lifting yeah, the I even turned off the wrong bedroom. valve. It's still been filling this whole time. Oh my gosh. This wasn't even on my honeydew list, but Mike just is fixing the connection that explains why our max fan had stopped oh, working. I see what happened here. Oh, do you? Did you yeah. figure it out? I think so. Okay, that was the problem. Can't believe I got to that. Though. I know. <laughs> you guys, he used a, um, what are those car thingies called? Um, oh, <laughs> Slim Jim. He used a Slim Jim to fish those wires out from behind the wall. This is how we can afford to have bus life. Meow. <laughs> 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 Mama just killed a bird. <laughs> Put her mouth against its head. <laughs> Bit down on it, now it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama Sita, you want to go in my closet, don't you? <laughs> I forgot. Literally the instant I opened the door, she jumped up in it. <laughs> she loves it in there. Hmm. There's one more missing though. Uh, here's this. Good find. Super finder. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Clap, clap, clap. Okay, so we had to replace the electronics in here. The electronics burned out in this unit. And it was uh, it was due to the fact that they designed them not for solar powered rigs. And unfortunately, when you use solar power, um, you, you'll find yourself charging at, you know, 14.2, 14.5. These things are only rated at 13.6, and I was reading... Uh, Wait, 13.6 6 volts. volts. And I was measuring 14.2 here, so essentially burned out the electronics in here. So they sent us a new one because we were under warranty. It was a lot, of, it was a process, though, because, like, when you call them, they're not, like... A normal call center it's like it, it, it almost sounds like somebody stopped what he's doing on the floor somewhere picked up the phone because you'll get some guy hello yeah ah uh, oh okay so it's broken yeah well how much voltage are you using <laughs> oh well that's why that's i mean they were just you know they they're just like they were rude they weren't very kind and uh you know we're not sponsored by them or anything so i don't really care but like if I had to do this again, I'd just tear out the stupid electronics and put in a switch in there because just it was awful dealing with them and dealing with this, and they make you feel like you're stupid uh, for some reason. And I just didn't like that. There. Okay. So on that little thing in the wall that I fixed, it has um, it has a thing shaped like this. Can't make my fingers do that. <laughs> like this. And you put wires in to these two slots and then you, you squeeze it and this thing comes down like this. Clamps down and on it, it. Well, it doesn't clamp. It actually like slices through the uh, the insulation on the wire and makes contact with the, wires with the wire itself, the conductor inside. Well, when I'd squeeze it down, it just, it kind of went like that and it didn't uh. make contact. So I made it go back like this and went and smashed it down and now we're getting solid contact okay. somebody actually warned us about using those and i didn't listen because they you know the design is good but if you don't put them in right 
Yeah. Um, and obviously you might not notice that that yeah. happened at the time. Exactly. So you just have to be conscious, really conscious of that. Gotcha. But, like, I, I like them. It's a good way to tap. Okay, we're back in business. Yeah. I'm really happy about that. So am I. I was just like so bummed that this just wasn't working in our bus. You know what? This wasn't even on the honeydew list and look at you getting it done. We're fixing everything and finishing everything that needed to be done in this bus. Yeah, I'm happy about yeah. this one being fixed again. Because it's when it comes in the summer, this is probably something we'll use. Yeah, it's or spring be. or we get something smoky in here, you know. Or something, yeah, you never know. Stinky. <sighs> yeah, there's all sorts of In reasons. your case. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there it is. All finito. Good job, Mahones. We did it. High five. That was a good one. But yeah, that's it was. done. Can't believe you pulled the exact wire we need out of the wall. I can't believe you <laughs> fished it out exactly in the place you needed to get it. I was just like I could feel like, oh yeah, there's there's a I got wire this time. Oh my god, it's exact wire. It was crazy, <laughs> crazy. We're finally fixing something I've been waiting to fix, and that is this really seemingly great idea of using the belts on our bookshelves that turned out to be a bad idea. Um, for one thing, one of the belts I bought was not real leather. I didn't realize that. And for the other thing is that it didn't work. The problem is when we attach the belts, we attach them tightly. So even when you try to open the belt, you can never pull it through enough to get that metal thing out of the center to get it out of the hole. So you, you can never open the belt. I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but the idea absolutely didn't work. It wouldn't work unless these belts were stretchy and you can't find leather that stretches. So um, we decided to change it to something that does stretch. It's not going to look as nice as the belts looked, but it's actually going to be more functional. Let the destruction begin. So, okay, this is going to be part so of our new... These would go into the knob like this and then come in from behind. Well, we really don't have that option. Yeah, we're not doing a cupboard door. We're using these. We'll have to show you where we're using these. So, we got these. And these are screw to, or bolt to screw conver uh, studs, if you will. So, you screw one end into, the bolt end into the knob, and then it leaves the wood screw end. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> So now we got a wood screw there. So the first part of our new idea is having one of these knobs on each side where the belts used to be screwed in. I'm going to have to use some wood filler on the empty holes. Yeah, I think that'll work. Right here. See, like I said, it's not going to look quite as pretty, <laughs> but it's going to be a lot more functional. And I might be able to do a replacement on these little hooks anyway. And do Just, something nicer? Yeah, something that looks nicer. Are we going to have to shorten these to make them work? I don't know yet. Yep, going to have to shorten them. <laughs> yep, just a little bit. That's right, I think how I would do it. Does that prevent it? from unraveling. Yeah. Now do we have zip ties? Uh, that would be your department. Yes. <laughs> okay. That is going to work. Yes. That is going to keep our books in there. You know, it doesn't look bad. Not really, no. It's fine. I like the knobs. Not as cute as the belt, but definitely much more functional. There it is. Voila! I like it. Yeah, me too. I think it'll do good. And thank God the books won't fall out while I'm driving anymore because there's. Man, you just poop your pants every time this bus makes a lot of noise when you're driving. <laughs> I tell you.
Horrible. <laughs> yeah, and now my recipe book will survive. It was always my recipe book to hit the floor and explode all over the place because it's a three ring binder inside. So I had to turn it around backwards to prevent it from falling out. So now I should be able to turn my cookbook back around. Super easy! Nice. Mike's at work today, so I'm home alone editing, and I just had to stop and take a minute to apologize if this video has not been very exciting. It wasn't until I started editing that I realized all we did is work on odd jobs and honeydews around the bus for this whole video. And this isn't even half of it, you guys. I lost a whole bunch of footage when I accidentally formatted a card that I shouldn't have formatted, and all that footage was more odd jobs around the bus, too. But honestly, that's all we have done this week because we're getting ready to go to Schoolie Palooza, so we just had a bunch of little things we needed to finish up. So, again, I apologize this hasn't been all that exciting, but we do have a little bit of mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. The mail's here. Mail time. Come on. Bye, mail time. Mail time. Oh, I love mail time. All right. All right. This is uh, Best Coffee Box. This is another one from Best Coffee Box. So I think we already know what's inside here, but we just wanted to say... What have we got here? How nice it is that we get something oh, okay. we love so much. So this is actually from Solar Roast Coffee, and they do this solar powered, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, it's a Sumatra Dark Roast. Thanks, Scott. This is yeah. awesome. I'm overjoyed. Oh my gosh, your generosity is just I wish you guys could wonderful. smell this because as soon as I opened it, the whole package just blew the out. The whole bus just smells smell like coffee Great now. coffee. I just yeah. love that smell. So I think. Thank you very much. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Super All right. Sweet. Next one. Mike and uh, Bobby Glocker. And they, where are they at? Open it while where you're they, talking. Where are they at? I don't know. I can't remember where they are. Does it say right there? Burlington, Kentucky. <laughs> it's right in it's front of his right face. There. He's like, where are they at? <laughs> and I I was actually on the phone with him last night. Did you just rip through the address again? He keeps ripping right through the return address, so I can't send a thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, Mike offered to make us something, and, uh, and we knew what it was only because uh, he had to ask us for sizes. All right, she sent you some doll furniture. Oh, Oh, that's going to be gosh. awesome, huh? That is the cutest thing. I've, she really makes her own miniatures, you guys. I have not graduated to this level yet. I just barely started making miniatures, and I've only made a few little things. This is exquisite. Look at the detail. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Hold on. She's going to get her dollies. Her dolly cabinet looks like an earthquake kit. She needs search and rescue to find her dollies. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? It's the perfect size for my little dollies that I collect. Here's her bed, too. Oh, my gosh. She even made a bed. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> oh, she sent me little peoples, too. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, my gosh. These are awesome. Thank you so much. Right, you just made me so happy. Okay, so... I'll have to use my temporary stand-in glasses because I can't... I literally can't find my glasses right now. So... This is a ring made out of a, a, a coin. And that's a silver Swiss franc right look there. Look at the beautiful pattern around the edge of it. Can you see the pattern? Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing. This is the one they made for me. This is a uh, 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. Like that is so cool. Like I can't believe how cool this is. I'm just, I am so pumped. And he said he did the color to match our bus. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, our coffee matches our bus too. Right. We're getting everything in green today. Man, that oh, is just... I can't figure out how they make this. Oh, it's a process. And that's what makes it so special is, is Mike put a lot of time and effort into doing this to make this for us. And, ah, God, that's so cool. Um, and the, the furniture that Bobby sent, 
super cool. Like you guys, oh, I you can't can even see. thank you guys enough. It's so, it's so neat. You can see the date in here where it says 1921. Yeah, you can see the stuff on the inside of this. This it's, is so cool. Does it fit you good? Yeah, it's not the finger I was expecting it to fit. It's going to have to go on this finger. <laughs> Super cool, huh? That is really unique. Thank you so much. Yeah, these are, oh man, I'll I wear this I can't imagine day. how much work must have gone into this. You guys are awesome, man. <laughs> this is totally wearing this all the time. Yeah, Super this is really cool. cool. Like I've always wanted one of these. I looked into it. I looked at all the details, how to do it. It was actually cost prohibitive. And yeah, I had to pick like a hobby because she won't let me have all the hobbies I want to have. Yeah, he wants to have 9,000 hobbies, you know. But she won't let me live my best life. I told him he has to leave some hobbies <laughs> for the other people too, so. <laughs> Super cool. We were waiting just in anticipation because we knew yeah. these we were coming, but we didn't know what the coins were going to be. We didn't know what they were going to look like. Yeah. So, so neat, you guys. Super Thank you so much. Thank you. So cool. Yes. Oh, way cool.